Kirk Cousins from the Vikings to the Falcons. I mean, I think personally, Kirk Cousins, he kind of sucks. But, I mean, he's a multimillionaire NFL quarterback. I have no room to talk. But he just, he's a likable dude. Like, watching quarterback last season uh, on Netflix. Like, he's a really likable guy. And he's, I mean, I'd take him over Sam Darnold. I wouldn't take him over Baker Mayfield. But I'd take him over Bryce Young. I'd take him over Geno Smith. I'd take him over, like, Dak Prescott. I'd take him over Dak Prescott any day of the week. You know, versus all these other quarterbacks that everybody's like, oh, this guy's a dude. No, 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 no. The NFL right now runs through Patrick Mahomes, Joe Burrow, and Brock Purdy. Eh, you can throw Josh Allen in there too, but like Kirk Cousins, he's a tier two kind of guy versus tier one. And so, I mean, the Falcons, will they immediately be contenders? I mean, the South is wide open. It's been open even with Brady's last season there. Um, Baker Mayfield did re-sign, which good for him. I think it's finally time for him to set into a place instead of having either a a different coach different coordinator or just being moved from team to team to team um hopefully baker does well with this contract uh but i think they could probably get second in the division and if they can split the series one one with the bucks then yeah the falcons could probably sneak that seventh seed um highest fourth seed and actually win the south but I mean, it is what it is. Like, it's still Kirk Cousins. This man has fleeced the NFL for a very long time, just like how Ben Simmons has fleeced the NBA.